everyone it's Ashley here with at home with Ashley welcome back to my channel today I'm very excited about our video because we are going to be talking about 10 ways to make the Billy bookcase look very expensive when you hack it so the Ikea Billy bookcase is super popular because it's affordable it comes in lots of sizes you can do the short you can do the tall bunch of different colors and that means you can customize it so if you're wanting to have the billy bookcase in your house i'm going to show you 10 ways to make it look really amazing number one if you are doing a library you're going to want to build a base so the first thing you're going to do is pull off your baseboard and then use two by fours to build the base so this is going to elevate your billy bookcase it's going to show that it's very like significant in your room and then that baseboard that you pulled off you can later put on the front and it's going to literally build it into the room so i've done the billy bookcase with this um, base look in two different places first my sister's living room where i did the massive like Florida ceiling. Well, it didn't quite go to the ceiling because she has vaulted ceilings, but really two layers high of Billy bookcases and it looks amazing. Every time I walk in there, I'm like, this is so, it was so worth it. And then the second one is in my son's room and he has tall baseboards. So we made sure to build the base so it's tall enough to accept those nice baseboards. Number two, you're going to wrap your Billy bookcase in baseboard. So like I said with the library, you're going to just use your very same baseboard and put it on the front. Um, I've also had to layer it even more like put another piece because I did the base a certain height and so I needed more baseboard so that's another option and then when I just had the belly bookcase sitting on the ground I still cover it in baseboard because it's a really cheap way to um, cover the front and the front is just not like great looking so you kind of cover the little indentation it has with the baseboard it upgrades it and it's not very expensive to do Number three, trim out the frame. So the shelves on the Billy bookcase and the frame are a little bit on the thin side. So to make it more look more expensive, you're going to buy trim and just nail it into the base and it's gonna make it look better. This is also really important when you're doing a library because you're gonna have two pieces of the Billy bookcase next to each other and then you're gonna see a seam in the middle that doesn't look great. So you're gonna cover it up with the trim so it does look great. So it's a really good hack and you can do it on the smaller pieces as well. On my dollhouse bookcase, we added trim. And um, on my second like smaller dollhouse bookcase, we didn't do it. So you can kind of see that the trim makes it look more expensive. It also makes it so you can't change where your shelves go. So that's something to consider. Okay, another way to make your Billy bookcase look expensive, library ladder. And this is an expensive upgrade, so that's why you do it. And I did a lot of research before we found the one in my sister's room. And the best one I could find with the fastest shipping date is on Home Depot. And it comes in a lot of different colors. We stained ours a darker color to kind of match the floors. And this is exactly what my sister wanted. Um, so you can like get it with brass, with lighter wood. Lots of great options. And then the library ladder, you attach it um, on top of the bookcases and it looks so good and if you're doing a double layer of bookcases it, it's very functional because you need that ladder to get to the second level but oh my gosh the ladder takes it from like cheap ikea to you know bell and beauty and the beast totally worth it okay on the billy bookcase there is a bunch of holes on the side so you can put your shelves wherever you want which is great lots of flexibility gotta love that but it doesn't always look great so there's two ways to cover them up Number one, you can buy stickers on Amazon and put those over the holes. That works great. Up close, you can totally see it. Far away, you can't. Sometimes they fall off. So it's just an okay option. The best, most labor-intensive option is to use wood filler or spackle and fill the holes, sand them flat, and then paint over them. So that's an option and it looks good. Number six, if you're going to hack your belly bookcase, you might as well paint it. And painting it is a bit of a pain um, <laughs> because with the belly bookcase, it's all laminate. So you have to make sure to prime it before. And what I like to do is do one layer of primer, wait two hours, do a second layer of primer, let that dry overnight. That's going to give you the best adhesion. Once that primer is all dry, you can paint it with any color you want. I like to use a latex paint. That works great. One hack I did do with painting that worked really great is on my son's bookcase, the inside is all white. And then the framing and all the trim we added on that is painted the same mint as the color of the room. So that didn't need to be primed because that's just all like paint ready trim. And so the inside where you 
to have all the wear from the books coming in and out. That's just the laminate, so that's going to wear really nice. On the outside, it's the paint, so that's a good hack if you don't want to like go to the time um, of painting the inside, especially on a big library, that's going to take a lot of time. All right, if you want your Billy bookcase to look really great, you're going to build it in. So with my sister's library, what we did was we actually built support units because it's two layers high and it's literally screwed into studs, which is screwed into her wall. This thing is not going anywhere. And that's partly why it looks so good is because it's not just sitting on its own in a room. It's built in so it takes up a whole wall and that's why it looks so good. Same thing with my son's library. It goes from floor to ceiling, from wall to door. And it just makes it so it has such a presence. You'd never look at it and think that's the Billy bookcase. Adding lighting always makes everything look more expensive. Um, the only place I've done this is with my son's library in his bedroom. We put a light over the art and it really looks so cute in there. And the light is just a battery operated light that you turn on with a remote. But even when it's off, it looks great, but you can turn it on. You can change the color of it but it looks very nice. Use multiple units. So what that means is buy as many Billy bookcases as you need to fill your space and put them next to each other. And by the repetition, it just like fills the room and that's what makes it look so good. So in my house, we actually have a slanted ceiling. So I still bought a Billy bookcase for that and we cut it down so it would fit in there. So there's like a lot of units, probably four that make that up. And my sister's, it's even more, I can't even remember, but it's that repetition that just makes your eye so happy. And then you can have that big wall of books that looks so good and brings it all together. Number 10, top yours off with decorative trim. So I've done this in a few ways. In a room where you're going floor to ceiling, the best way to do it is with crown molding. The crown molding bridges the gap between the ceiling and the top of your bookcase. And so that looks really nice. In my sister's library, where we didn't even go all the way to the ceiling, it still has crown molding at the top to just finish it off, give it that nice high-end look. And then when I did the dollhouse bookcases, we added trim to the top of like the little roof section and that's called running trim. And it just looks so cute. It just is like gingerbread trim on a house. And all of that trim just, it is, it adds money to it, but it also makes it look very high end and amazing. So this week at my house, we have been redoing this like little small belly bookcase and adding the baseboard, the roof, the trim on the roof and painting it. And it's looking so cute. I want you guys to stay tuned because next week we're actually going to add some Lego storage onto it. And I think that's going to be really cool. These little dollhouse bookcases I'm using for Lego storage in this room, but it would also be so fun to use for American dolls or like for Barbie and it can be used for storage or you could make it into little rooms. I think that would be so cute. So anyway, I hope you like these ideas on how to make your Billy bookcase hack look expensive. We've done these and now like, it's just like really simple things you can follow. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I would love to hear your favorite Ikea Billy bookcase hack that I did. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I have a lot of fun videos planned and a lot of Ikea hacks. We're gonna have a really good year with some fun content. So please join along. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos just like it.